Happy Wednesday Dessert Junkies, I hope you are well. Well this week is video 100. I cannot believe I've actually made 100 cooking videos. Never thought I'd even reach that goal. But this video is video 100 and I thought I would challenge myself because you know, I, I do these desserts and I make them sort of very simple and easy but I thought, you know what? I'm going to give myself something really complex to make and I kept having this little phrase in my head and I'm sure if you're a parent you'll have this same phrase in your head. Do you want to build a snowman? So I thought I would make myself an Olaf cake and I'm not going to be making cakes like this all the time. These are really hard to make and I hats off to Cakes by Chopper and my, my Cupcake Addiction who make these kind of cakes week after week. Guys, ah, it's really hard. So this video is how I actually made the Olaf cake. If you want to know how I actually made the sponge because hey I didn't cheat here guys. I actually made the sponge. You just didn't go and buy it. You can click the screen now and that will take you to the video of how you make the sponge. But this video is how to make a snowman also known as an olive cake so the first thing i did before i cut anything is just figured out how i wanted olive to look so i did some sketches on some tracing paper and just kept working it until i was happy with the shape and the size and proportion of course while i was doing that my cat louie thought it would be interesting to come and check out what i was doing remove cat and then get back to it so once i'm happy with the shape then i would start cutting my cake but you know, work it out on pen and paper before you start cutting. Then I cut my sponges that I had cooked prior and I cut them into chunks and essentially froze them so they were nice and hard. Haha, <laughs> frozen cake, I just got the joke. <laughs> but essentially keep them in the fridge for around 20 minutes and that's going to cut down the amount of crumbs that you're going to have when you do cut the cake. But it'll also give you a cleaner line. So whack those in the freezer and then while they're in the freezer, is cut out the shapes so as you can see I, I cut it out I got some fine lines the final lines that I wanted cut out his belly his feet now the belly and the feet do go to bed on one piece so keep them mind keep them separate but then put them together so then I cut out my pieces by essentially stabbing them with some uh, skewers and then cutting with a serrated knife which is just essentially like a paring knife um, down but I sort of carved down and inwards so that the top was the biggest part so it just sort of evenly go in. Once I cut all my pieces out then I gave them a crumb coat or a buttercream coat and this buttercream recipe is actually the one I stole from Cakes by Chopper. Sorry Chop, stole your shit. Anyway, um, I would recommend probably putting some jam in between this. I found it was just a bit too like thick when I did end up having to cut and try the Olaf because of course I always try my own recipes but um, it does work really well. I can highly recommend the buttercream recipe that Chop has. But essentially, you cover all your pieces that you want to glue together. So double it in the freezer, 20 minutes, and then it's time to move on to the next step, which is to fondant it or cover it. So this is just white fondant I bought from the supermarket. You can get it in the cake section. And essentially, I just rolled it out using some corn flour. I laid it over the top and then just allowed gravity to take hold and just let it fall gently without any folds in it. Once I was happy with that, just use a sharp paring knife at the point and I cut around it and then sort of cut inwards again on a sort of an angle so it went underneath because I wasn't going to put pipe around the bottom of Olaf. But um, I found that if I did that and then I picked it up, which I'm about to do in two seconds, and sort of push any extra bits around so it's nice and flat and gives us, you know, that good, good shape. That's sort of what I was going for. Finish that with all your little pieces. Of course, body goes with the feet. Then I worked on the eyeballs and I thought, well, I better get started on them because they're the window to the snowman's soul and make sure I got them right. But essentially it was just balls of fondant. I um, colored some of the white fondant black using um, a gel food dye and just cut some shapes out using cookie cutters and like the bottle tops. That's, that's how I got the shape that I wanted. But I did one big disc at the bottom, then his eyeball, then a black disc, and then another white disc just get sort of the uh, eyelid in the eye properly. So then I assembled it just to make sure I had all the right angles. As you can see, feet with the body, all in one piece under the fondant, and just sort of put some, put some grooves in there with your finger. Then his little torso, and then his head. So just making sure I had it all right and how I was going to figure it out. 
Then I worked again on his face, so I put the little black panel in here to show his little mouth open. And when I was sort of working with these pieces, I didn't use any water until I was happy with the like placement. So I sort of cut all the pieces and then put them on his face and made sure they were right before I glued anything down. And I glued them down with just water. So you, know, you don't need any fancy glue to do this. I'm like revealing all these cake making secrets in this video. Um, as you can see, the nose is actually a carrot because I was sort of thinking, I don't want to have to color bond it. And I thought, well, Snowman has a real carrot. The only problem with working with carrots, of course, they do have moisture. So I only put the carrot on at the last minute. I did take them off. So. Um, then I worked on his little buttons. So black balls, big black balls, um, and stick them on him with some water once you're happy with them. Um, I did make the little arms and I made them brown by mixing black with some red food dye and just rolling them out into sausages and then sticking them in. So final assembly was, yeah, a carrot. I just stuck on a toothpick so I could actually get that into his face and then applying his buttons and making sure that obviously wetting down the back of the button so it glued onto his body. And then I started looking at it going, oh, I don't really like the brown. So I did end up moving him again onto some card, but working on his hair was the last part that I did. And I used two picks again and popped those in the freezer before I did apply them to his head, just to make sure that they would stay solid. If you were gonna transport this or make it yourself, I would recommend putting the hair on the last minute. Same with his little carrot nose, because they were really tricky to move around the place and they are quite thin. So that's it. That's how I made my little olive cake. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this. I did enjoy making it. It was a challenge, but what do you think of the result? Does it look like olive? I think it looks like olive. I, I think it's a pretty good attempt for my first time making any of these cakes. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Now, normally I would say, there you have it guys, how simple and easy was that, but it is complex. It does take a bit of time, but if you break it down into sections, which is what I did, I found it quite easy. It did take me an afternoon, but I wasn't stressed and I thought, you know, I can do it. And being fondant, you can play with it, you can mix it. I did, you know, increase the dilation of his little pupil, white pupil, because it didn't look right. And of course I used a carrot because I just couldn't be bothered colouring fondant. And hey, a snowman needs a carrot nose. So you can make these and I hope that you have it a crack. If you want to see more of those type of cakes, not on my channel, please go check out Cakes by Chopper and My Cupcake Addiction. Those guys make them every week and they're amazing. If you like what you see and you want to know a little bit more about desserts, come and subscribe to this channel that you're watching right now. I make videos every Wednesday and I'm trying to get to my next goal, subscriber goal, 2,500. I think I'll put about 120 away. So if you can help me out by sharing this video, liking it, popping it on your social medias, your Facebooks, your Instagrams, your Twitters, I'd be internally grateful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next Wednesday. Bye guys.